in Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. Can anything good come out of such a pandemic? My name is Pamina Skariuki. Welcome to Sitam Thika Road uh, Devotions. We are going to look at faith during and after the pandemic. And this, we are going to be able to, uh, we are going to be guided by the word of God from the book of Genesis, chapter 26, where we are going to see the story of Isaac during the time of Abimelech and get to understand how God was able to work even in such a situation or a season. Allow me to turn, uh, turn with us to the book of Genesis chapter 26 and verse 1 to 3. And then I also read from verse 12 to verse 15. And this is what the word of God says. I'm reading from the NIV version. Now, there was famine in the, in the land. Besides the previous famine, in Abraham's time, and, in, and Isaac went to Abimelech, king of Philistines in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants, I will give all this land and will confirm the odds I saw to your father Abraham. Then we go to verse 12, and the Bible says, Isaac planted crops in, the, in that land, and the same year leaped a hundred foods, because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that Philistines envied him. So all the wells of, that his father's servant had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped, filling them with the earth. Then the last verse 16 says, then Abimelech said to Isaac, Move away from us, for you have become too powerful for us. Brethren and friends, at this time of the pandemic, we can relate with such a situation that was happening during Isaac's time. We see Isaac in this case has, had, had gone to Abimelech, uh, the, the, the land of, uh, of Gerar, which uh, was guided by Abimelech. And at this time, there was a desert which had continued, it was actually bigger than that which had happened during his uh, father Abraham's time. And at this time, we see Isaac going into a foreign land, and the story has it that when he went there, he was fearful that these people would actually kill him. And we get in the, in the story, in verse 4 and verse 5, that actually Isaac had even to lie that his wife Rebecca is his sister, because it was such a situation, uh, the situation was so hostile for him. But in the foreign land, Isaac went in and actually settled. And as he was settling, the, 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 the drought continued and actually there was a very severe drought, just like we have a very severe pandemic in this time. And we see Isaac went on to plant even on the sea, uh, on, 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 on the land, even in the desert, even, uh, even in the drought, sorry. And there is something that comes by this. Isaac knew, yes, it was a drought season, but he went ahead to plow the land. He went ahead to put in the, uh, the seeds and actually plant the seeds and wait for a harvest. Brethren, if it was, a uh, it was such a time as this, I don't know how many of us would actually take such an action, such a, a step of faith. But we see uh, uh, Isaac went ahead to plant in that drought season. The Bible tells me that after he planted that season, he actually reported a hundred folds. This was unheard of. Everybody was scared of actually going to plant. Everybody was saying the season is not right for us to go and plant in our gardens or in our farms. But we see Isaac, because of his faith in his God, the Bible tells me that Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped hundredfolds because the Lord blessed him. Brethren, at this time of the coronavirus uh, pandemic, I know many of us are wondering, can we go on with doing business? Can we even start business for those who, have, who had a lot of, a lot of uh, burning desire? To start a business they are wondering is it possible for my to uh, for me to start a business and for it to grow even in such a season i am here to encourage you brethren isaac knew that his source his source of, uh, of of power his source of strength was not with the pandemic his source of strength 
was actually from his God. He went ahead to plant and after planting, he not only harvested a litre, but he actually harvested a hundred folds. Where everybody was harvesting a fold, for him, his was multiplied because he put into practice his faith. At this time, guys, I want to encourage you, it is the highest time we realize that it is not a season that determines our outcome. It is the God of the season who determines our outcome. Isaac knew the power that was in believing in his God. He went ahead and planted. What is this that you are saying you cannot plant because you are fearing the season is not right for you? We know there are people who are making millions because they took an advantage of the situation and actually went ahead to become creative. I have faith in this. I am personally in real estate industry. And actually, even in the beginning of the year, we were warned that people are going to not to invest in the real estate industry. But I went ahead and actually stood on my faith, having faith that God, who gave me the idea of this company, he is going to make my, uh, he is going to give me a hundred foods. I am sure, and I can say confidently that the Lord has done it. It is not that I'm speaking from an, a point of not seeing it. I have tested it. I have seen the Lord giving me sales even in this tough time, as people may call it. Because when there are tough times, remember there is a God who is above all situations. And this season is the highest time to test our faith in God. We must not wait for aftermath of the, of the, of the COVID-19. We can actually make the best out of this season. I want to encourage us that it is the highest time we go and put our, uh, our faith into practice and as you come to conclusion this man Isaac became rich so the first thing he became rich he became wealthy and after becoming wealthy he actually the Bible says that he had many flocks and herds and servants and the Philistines envied him because he even became wealthier so he started by just being rich then he became wealthy but after all this, he actually became worthier that even those of the world started to envy him. And I remember I see Abimelech saying, this man is going, is so strong for us. His strength did not come because he was the son of Abraham. His strength became because he had a faith in his own God. Brethren, it is the highest time we put to practice our faith and know that if we trust God, if we test him even in this situation, he is going to give us a hundred foods and the people of the world will envy us and want to desire to serve the same God. Thank you very much. Allow me to leave us at that and let us make a short prayer. Let us make a short prayer. Father, we thank you because of your grace. Thank you for your favor and thank you for reminding us, Lord. Even in the times of pandemic, even in the times of tough seasons, you remain to be the God of the season. And as you are with Isaac when he planted and he harvested a hundred folds, I pray this time, O oh God, that the, the, the dear ones who are watching and even those that are going, my Father, to believe in the same message, we shall be able to acquire even a hundred folds in this season. And after all is said and done, we shall come back to say thank you and to glorify your name. We thank you and we worship you, for we pray this trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen.